we, we spend over 90% indoors in an artificial environment. And uh, uh, this environment has a massive impact on the public health and the public health spending. Here, example from Australia, we have our spendings for, uh, for asthma in 2015, that is 28 billion for uh, obstructive pulmonary diseases like lung stuff. Uh, we're spending nearly 100 billion. That's $5,000 per capita a year. That's the spending that we're having. This economical impact of uh, respiratory diseases uh, uh, associated with poor energy performance in forming homes is significant. How much? We cannot quantify how big that impact is because it has not only an impact on these diseases as well as on other stuff, but not all of these diseases are related to, it, um, to, uh, to, um, to the building quality. Uh, the building industry is not naturally creating healthy indoor spaces. It's not something that we naturally do. Understanding of the impact of buildings uh, is often not understood. Competi uh, there is competition. Like price competition is the price creates competition, regulation, and education is needed. So uh, then clients don't understand the impact of buildings on their health and have a limited budget. That's creating the problem. It needs regulation and quality control. Science-based thermal performance modeling is needed. And that's what Passive House is giving us.